it wasn't easy, right? It wasn't pretty. I think social media glorifies entrepreneurship, right? Because you see the guys riding around in the fancy cars and spending a lot of money and at the club popping yeah. bottles. Yeah. And it, it's yeah. not that at first, right? It's that <laughs> later. But it's not right. that. Right. And just knowing that you need to dig in and do the work, right? It's a whole mindset thing. So my first two years, my first year and a half, I was working at the railroad. And I can tell you what my days look like. I'm at the office. I had two computers. So I did my Union Pacific work for the first part of the day. I closed that computer, kept the, kept the iPhone or Blackberry, whatever yeah. we were using back then, kept that going. And I was just responsive that afternoon. But then I was working on my real estate business for the rest of the day. At least once a week, I had worked myself so hard that I would crash. I would go to sleep at 5 p.m. and wake up the next morning at 5 a.m. It was, it was just that serious and that hard, and there was nothing glamorous about it. And I got rejection. I, I was doing open houses. I was doing all the things, right? But um, I, was, I really wanted it. I really wanted it. So you really have to ask yourself, do you really want it? And I, I basically had to maintain both until one could, could satisfy what yeah. I needed to yeah. survive. And some of the other things I did was I got really into budgeting. So I cut out a lot of things and I needed to figure out what my number was. So I knew going into real estate, I needed to make $10,000 a month. So if you know what you need to make, you can create a plan around that. And that's exactly what I had to do. So my first year, I think I did 50 or 50 or 60,000 and I was working part-time. I was like, yeah. okay, all right. It's not quite what I was making at the railroad. Right. But then the next year I made 158,000.